What is Allah saying here? Straightforward. It is not no tafsir, no explanation, no interpretation. Allah says, righteousness is not about facing the east or the west to pray. Or go. Surah Baqarah, chapter 2, verse 177. It is not righteousness, meaning righteousness is not just about you facing the east and the west to pray. Referring to prayer. You see, a lot of people just get into the ritualistic things of prayer. And that's why I was saying in the line, the first khutbah, you're beating your heads down, you got the long beds, the long quarters, perform 40 hajj, boast of how much zakat you gave, how much days we fast, and we think we are the most righteous. I remember a couple, maybe a month ago, two months ago, there's a brother sitting right here in the audience. I was right standing right there by the tile area, Brother Azad Sahib. And the brother said, it looks brother just walked in and passed me straight. And the brother has the longest beard inside here. I think he's longer than yours too, brother. Sir. I said, you're kidding. He said, yeah. I said, not only the brother got the longest beard, but he also prays more than five times Allah here. And he does not know to greet a Muslim when he enters the masjid. You see the point I'm getting at? This happened right there. And the brother who told me that is right here. Ask him, who is the brother? He said, the brother with the longest beard. Come on, what is wrong with us? Sometimes you go in a restaurant. You go somewhere. You meet Muslims. Longest beard, longest kurta, biggest mama, And they don't even know to smile. You know, you probably say, I talk these things all the time. Because I think that sunnah. The sunnah of the Prophet That's what I have read. That's what I have learned. If it's wrong, then Allah forgive me. But I have always remember my sheikhs and teachers telling me to smile was a sunnah of the Prophet Huh? We claim to follow the Prophet To greet people. To give salams. And we think we are the most pious and the most righteous. That's why I'm just using the basic, simple thing that the smallest kid learns. The smallest kid learns. Assalamu alaikum. And I sometimes don't like to use the word, the biggest donkeys don't know it. But I will qualify that statement, biggest donkeys. You know why? Because the Prophet wasallam says, a person who has knowledge and does not practice it, it's like a gadaha. You know gadaha? And gadaha? What do you say for gadaha in Bengali? Gadaha too? Oh boy, everybody knows gadaha. Donkey. Prophet wasallam says, A person who has knowledge and does not practice it, it's like a donkey with books on its back. So the big, well-educated Muslims who think they know it all, Go to study all the tafsir of the Quran. Oh, they study deep things, man. They go to conferences. They go to seminars. Oh, you name it, they're there. But they don't know the basic sunnah. That's like a donkey. Have all the degree and conferences and seminars, title and education. And don't know what is on the face of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. A smile. Huh? Salam. Greetings. But you see the problem, for those of us who came late, it's not that. It's the shaitan whispering into our hearts, Allah the was we so feast do the nas, whispering into the hearts of the people, you better than that guy. No, it's better than, pass him straight. If he puts his hand out, you put your hand out. Because shaitan, abawa stuck by wakana min al kafirin. Because of his arrogance, he disobeyed Allah. And he wants us also to do everything that will be a means of disobeying Allah. And he knows that he can win the hearts of people who think they are better, more righteous, more religious, more pious, more zakat, more fasting, more hajj, more salah, that he can put arrogance in their hearts and he will win them and conquer them and take them to hell. Because the Prophet ﷺ says, if we have as much as an atom, as much as a mustard seed of arrogance, 
Allah will put us into Jahannam, get us well barbecued, you know, barbecued properly. It's not a whole chicken, it's a little piece of arrogance. Then we go to Jannah. This is serious. And I see this all the time. Allah all the time, astaghfirullah. Astaghfirullah. So Allah is saying, لَيْسَ الْبِرَّ أَن تَوَلُّوا وَجُّهَكُمْ قِبْلَ الْمَشْرِقِي وَالْمَغْرِبِ Righteousness is not about you just fulfilling the physical rights of prayer or the physical actions of giving money or physical actions of fasting or the physical actions of performing hajj. But righteousness is when we have iman and faith in Allah. That is righteousness. But then he continues to say, Walakin al birra. What righteousness is? Man amana billah wal yawm al akhirah. So Allah rubs it in. He said, Righteousness is when you have iman in Allah. True faith. Know that how much graduation and qualification in Islamic seminars and conferences and classes and how much salah, whatever. No, it's the iman is the righteousness. And that we know that we will face Allah and we have a hereafter to go to. So our deeds here, our deeds here are very important in our journey to the hereafter. Iman and akhirah. So we will want to do the deeds that will keep us straight to take us to the akhirah. The Jannah. Not the Jahannam. Yeah. 